Hello everybody, my name is Renarius and welcome back to Terraria, if you can hear me over the sound of death. In today's episode, we plan to defeat the boss of this temple, Skeletron. Though as it would turn out, it's also the Blood Moon tonight, so a whole bunch of enemies are spawning now all of a sudden. But I'm not going to let that deter me, I'm going to fight anyway. So, the way we defeat, or summon Skeletron is we talk to this old man at night. That's all I know. Oh, and of course, I've gotten a full set of molten armor and tools just like I said I would. We now have a full set of 29 defense including my shackles over here, a little bit of regeneration, and as a set bonus, I get extra melee damage. It's good things all around. Man, look at all those zombies. I also managed to brew myself an iron skin potion. Apparently all it takes to make a brewing stand is just to put a bottle on a table. Who'd have thought? Now, I'm a bit nervous about the zombies on top, but I uh, don't think there's anything else I can do. Oh, and my other little thing, after I kill this eye, I got an imp staff. Let's me summon my own little imp. Little fire imp that fi fights for me. It's going to be a bit helpful. I don't think this imp can actually die. I mean, he's not very powerful, but I don't think he other enemies can hurt him because he doesn't even have a health meter. I think he just despawns when I do and that's it. So enough talking, let's summon him. Cannot hope to face my master as you are now. Oh yeah? Now you know who I am. I choose care. Oh wow that was quick. I expected something else but uh... Whoa, okay. Skeletron has awoken, you don't say. Okay so only the hand parts are dangerous apparently. Okay. Ouch. This is not good. Oh. Pfft. I forgot to drink my iron skin potion. Take that now. I also have a bunch of good health potions. Uh, the plus 100 kind, not this uh, pathetic plus 50 kind. Okay. We're not doing too bad. Right? I don't have much room to maneuver down here. May not have been a choice location, but... Once I defeat his hands, his skull by itself should be no problem. Ouch, ouch. Yeah, we're doing good. I really should have put down a campfire for extra regeneration. Too late now. Okay, now all I gotta do is defeat your big bony head. Come here. I'm going upstairs. That way I can actually maneuver and shoot him whenever I want to. The only downside is the zombies, which are everywhere. Get him, Impy. Is my Imp actually hurting him? I don't think he is. Maybe tough, but he's kind of slow. Nice how I'm getting all of these arrows back. I'm not sure when I was supposed to fight this guy in relation to the other bosses, because he seems pretty easy. Here, just in case, I'm going to take a health potion. Kill a few zombies. Ouch. Also, apparently his head can take more damage when it's spinning, rather than when he's flying around steady. I got you, Skeletron. Oh yeah. Woo! Now, I didn't get... It doesn't look like I got anything very good from that. Um... Yeah, nothing special. However, that is not the main point of defeating Skeletron. Because this here is the dungeon, this place I'm at right now. Not sure if you can see my mouse. But apparently this place is a dungeon, and if I just walk in without defeating Skeletron, then uh, um, guardians appear and kill me. And apparently they're far too tough to fight, so... Whoops, wrong one. Uh, we defeat Skeletron first, and then we journey in. 
It probably would have been cool to see the Guardians, now that I think about it. But I didn't think that. Ouch. I can never see these little spring traps. Or dart traps. Ouch. Ish. There. Broke it. And also, here's a cool thing. I got the Molten Hammer Axe. It's apparently a hammer and a pickaxe. Two and one. And it seems to be that the hammer is the way you break uh, background walls. Also, what are you? Dark caster? You're dead now. Now, I didn't really have much in pl uh, plan for this episode, so I'm just hoping I can find a gun. Are these spiked walls? Whoa, look at all the traps down there. I want to find a gun, because if I find a handgun, I can combine it with some, uh... 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 If I could speak, that'd be good. But if I combine it with Hellstone Bars, then I can make the Phoenix Blaster. Oh, what, I opened that? Yeah, I found a few of these locked chests in the, uh, netherworld, too. The underworld. However, they were locked and I could not find the key for them. Shadow key opens all shadow chests. Well, I'll take that. Bomb, I don't really need any of those. Or shurikens. Mining potion, I'll take that. And silver. Can't have too much money. What's this thing? Is that just water? Wow, Imp. Since when are you so powerful? Looks like I've underestimated my little flying teddy bear here. Okay, I hope these flying spikes don't do too- Ow! What? Okay, apparently that water catches me on fire. Okay, then. I'd scoop up some of that if I had a bucket with me, but I do not. And step it in again. Place there. Where's a safe spot? Right over here. Except I was shot with another poison dart. Eat these things. Now, there was a gizmo that highlights uh, traps. A potion, that is. It would have been very handy to have. Okay, that platform below me is not safe. Alright, we're good. Just keep on going down. It'd be nice if this place had its own lighting. But I like it anyway. At least I don't have to dig my own way down, right? Angry... what? Whoa, I don't want to fall too far. Ouch! Okay. Take a breather. Oh, that's a dark trap. Okay, where is its trigger? I think it's right there. Can I make use of these dark traps myself? I should test that. I should put these, like, outside the door of my house so that whenever zombies come knocking, it'll just shoot them. That's a good idea. I think you may. So, let's see. Precise shackle. Um, regular shackle. Don't need you. Whoa. How did he move so quickly? Ooh, I got a bone. What's that good for? Don't know. What are you guys? Angry bones. Okay. Now, if I don't uh, waste enough time in this dungeon here, then I'm going to try to defeat the Wall of Flesh, which is apparently the last uh, boss defeated in normal mode, and then it triggers hard mode, where we get a whole new set of bosses and all kinds of new cool equipment to find. Ouch. Not that I'm doing well when I'm killing myself on inert traps. But yeah, if I can kill the Wall of Flesh in this episode too, don't count on it though then I'll do it, because I don't think there's any better armor that I can build in this easy mode. Okay, I've still got my uh, climbing claws equipped, so I can stick to walls to some degree. Ouch. Stupid mage. Whatever you are. Why is there water down here? Okay. Apparently I need some kind of ice looking key. No idea where I'd get that. It's dark. 
Okay. Oh, there's another trap. It'd be really convenient if I could shoot through walls too. Now, where's the trigger for that thing? I think it's over here next to this chest. Yep. Okay, I don't have a golden key. Anything up here? Looks like it's just banners. More shelves. Ouch. Green, green stone? Is that what it said? Okay. There is background walls, so I just... What is that? What? Oh, did you see that? It was like a red line over here. What was that? Okay. Um, let's see. Need some random stones to throw about. Precise shackle. Don't need that. So. Jump up and about. Who are you? Bound mechanic. Ooh, can I unbind you? What is that? Come here, cursed skull. I said come here. There! And got some bones. Okay. What do you say? Thanks. It was just a matter of time before I ended up like the rest of the skeletons down here. And apparently you're a shop. What do you say? Wire cutters, green wrench, blue wrench. Apparently there's something to do with a whole bunch of uh, mechanical devices that we can use. Ouch! But I don't know much about that, so I'm not going to bother with it. Uh-oh. Ginger. Oh, you're a girl. I just not realized. Anyway. Um, Ginger seems to be vulnerable to some degree. I'm not sure. Or maybe I hit her. Not sure. All I know is that these enemies are quite irritating. Come to think of it, it's probably still the blood moon outside. So, I'm going to want to bring this mechanic home with me, but I don't know how to drag an NPC all the way back home. Okay, let's see what else you still... Yeah, the solid blocks will be toggled on and off. Booster, booster something. That sounds cool. Okay, I'll take care of the mechanic later. For now, let's just journey down. No, no, whoa. Ouch. I really thought there'd be something else to land on. But I thought wrong. So we'll just continue on then. Hello, skeleton on the wall. You'd think they'd make better use of those shackles once you were already dead. How big is this place, anyway? Probably its own entire biome, right? A what? Door. Okay. I'm guessing my extra iron skin probably... Um, turned off now. Ran out of... Uh... It depleted. It has expired. Some word, some synonym for that. Okay. I wonder if there's actually anything truly useful down here. There probably is. Ow, oh, I hate those things. Probably are some cool stuff like in the locked chests and stuff. But I don't have any keys and I don't know how to get them either. Wow. You know what? You guys can have a grenade. No, that's me. Eh, heck with it. Just jump down and kill them all. Oh, bye. Okay, I did not anticipate that much damage. So, let's see. I'm only 15 minutes in. I don't plan to make this go an entire hour, if I can help it, but... Um, let's see, setting up a trap here would be cool, but then I'd be stepping on it all day. Huh. 
shadow key opens all shadow chests. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to defeat the wall of flesh. Easy enough, right? Well, actually, I really should have an iron skin potion at least. And for that, I need my day bloom flowers to glow. They're up here somewhere. I planted some, but they're still growing. Also, I have a cactus growing indoors. Put some sand up there for some project, I forget. And now there's a cactus. Who'd have thought? So, do we defeat the wall of flesh? Or do we go back to the Shadow Temple? It's a long way back to the temple, as you can see. <sighs> Tell you what, I'll build a house here. See if I can get the mechanic to move in. I need a bed, a chair, a door. Okay, tattered cloth. I guess I'll put you over in this chest. My chests are very disorganized. Easy on the lag there. Green brick wall, don't need you. Or a crimson block. Oh, look at all the day blooms I have. Forgot to pick those up. So I can make potions. Sweet. Alright, let me fend off a few enemies and then I'll brew a few potions. And then I think I'll attempt the Wall of Flesh since I have the materials. We have the technology. Um. Okay, so Iron Skin Potion should only need one. <coughs> Which requires Day Bloom. Uh, uh, where's the list? A day, day bloom, some iron ore, or iron, or lead ore, and a bottled water. Poof, made one. And I can also make regeneration, which uses a shroom. Provides life regeneration. This will be good, I think. And of course, I have normal health potions anyway. So let's get to it. I have a builder's potion with me. Mining potion. No. I want a, I want a builder's potion, but I forget what it takes. And now would be exactly the time to use it. So... Okay, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to look up a builder's potion real quick. Be back in a second. Alright. Apparently I need a blink root, shiver thorn, and moon glow. Knowing me, I probably don't have all of those. Okay, I have a Shiver Thorn. I should have Blink Root somewhere. What about Moon Glow? Yes, I have one. Now I just need one more. Uh, the Blink Root. Blink Root. Please tell me this is it. Hey, I need some. Uh, whatever. Um, shuriken. Don't need those. Builder potion. Oh yeah. Now you're you're probably wondering why I'm bothering building a builder's potion when I'm going to fight a boss, but it will all make sense once I'm down there. And I'll explain on the way or something like that. Um, don't. Yes, I need a dart trap. <sighs> all of my chests are so full, except for this one. <laughs> Me and my big mouth. Damage from touching lava. Don't really need that. <sighs> I really should close my doors. Let's see. Wild obsidian skull. Um, let's see. Don't need water walking. Always need the healing. Keep that with me. Drop the pressure plates. I'll need the stone. Dirt block. That's okay. Let's see, I'll bring as much stone as I can. Once again, this will all make sense once I'm down there, and I'll explain on the way. Where's the rest of my stone? I need all the stone and random materials I never use for anything. As much as I can get. And I hope ice does not melt. Um, There's my stone. Okay, do I have dirt anywhere? Just looking for anything with big numbers on it. Hey, look, more stone. Okay, it doesn't look like anything. So, I think I have everything. I'm going to journey down. 
Now, here's the big deal. Oh wait, I need the summoning tool. Uh, the Wall of Flesh is basically a wall as a boss, and it continually moves uh, towards you once you summon it. So you have to constantly retreat, because there's apparently no way to knock it back. Uh, so you apparently just have to keep running while you fight it. That's why I need all of these materials, because I'm going to just build a humongous platform down there. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and continually run across it and away from the Wall of Flesh. Man, I'm fast. I've already put a bunch of platform down there because while I was down there, I wanted to be able to tra traverse the area more quickly, so I already have a big head start. The entire area can be traversed on foot while sprinting without losing sprint and without needing to jump. Or, you know, at least a place I've already done. That's why I made the Builder's Potion, so that I can just keep running along and slamming down blocks. I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes, but we're going to see, aren't we? Okay, yeah, we're still rolling. Just want to make sure I didn't waste all that exposition on nothing. Nope, get off the rope. <laughs> see you later, zombies. And like I said, I don't think there's any better armor set that I can make pre-hard mode. Pretty sure this is it. So it basically, if this doesn't if this doesn't help me win the day, then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Just gonna have to find some fancy potions. And here is my platform, you see. I'm just gonna continue left. Also, apparently, when lava is running and moving like this, it doesn't hurt you at all. And yes, my molten armor does not make me immune at all to lava. I have, a, I had a rose, this little angry obsidian rose in my inventory, which makes me slightly more immune to lava, but not enough to worry about. Um, there was a potion that uh, makes you completely immune to lava. I'm assuming it's just like swimming in water at that point. Okay, now these are fire blocks. If I step on those normally, I'll just catch on fire and die, so I have to put on this obsidian skull, which allows me to not be caught on fire while running. As you can see, this place just keeps going and going. We're going to keep going even more. Let me make just a little bit more headroom. Okay, now here's where I stopped, apparently. Kill some enemies, and then I'm going to... Ouch. Straighten out this bridge. I'm not gonna take my potion just yet. Cut my way through. State the obvious even more times. And keep building. Now, if I wanted to be really efficient, I could just, ouch, leave a uh, space every block. But. Who's got time for that? Alright, Miner's Potion. Bottoms up. But not before I kill this imp. Speaking of imps, I should summon my own. There. Now I can fight off the random baddies while I'm building. Miner's Potion in effect. Okay, not if I can't get there. Oh, hello, Long and Bony. That, that sounds wrong. I'll just leave that there. Oh! I just now realized I'm very much nearly dead. Very much so nearly dead. Ah yes, this is much nicer. And it gets dark in here constantly because this blocks off all the light from lava. Which is a problem. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to bother with light later. I don't need to see. Who needs to see? After all, I've got my magical sparkles. Place light later. Yes, I don't think I've ever been this far in the nether before. I keep calling it the nether when it's actually the underworld. Old habits from Minecraft. 
My own imp keeps confusing me. Every time I see him, I think there's some other enemy coming. Ouch! Don't knock me into lava, or I will kill you twice as hard. I wonder if my imp can shoot through walls. Ouch. Imp, save me. And also, summoning the imp uses 20 mana, but apparently mana recharges very much quicker than health does. Faster. That's the word. Oh! We've hit an obstruction, everybody. Hold on to your hats. Uh, no! 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 No. Okay. No! 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 Five! Whew. Ouch. This place is going to be another death of me. Oh yeah, look at that building speed. I think the reason I can't build as fast as I want to is because I have to be aiming at the exact spot I want it, and if I move too fast, then I won't be placing on it. Unlike rope, where you can just hold it on one spot and it just keeps building. If that made any sense. Okay, how much farther do I think I have to go? How far am I? I'll admit, I've gone pretty far, but let's keep going. I mean, what could be better than Rain having nothing better to talk about while he constantly builds a bridge to nowhere? Oh, what? Pancakes? Yeah, I agree with you. I can live with that. Also, oh, really? Renarius watched their inwards become their outwards by Hellbat. Lovely. Okay, I need to build more torches. I have tons of wood and tons of gel. So, no problems here. I've got a bunch of stars. I'm going to make some jester's arrows. Let's see here. Yep, let's do it. Apparently I ran out of arrows first. Sweet. Okay, wooden arrow just takes wood and stone. We got plenty of that. Put that there and make more jester's arrows. Ah, okay. Uh, place those there. Since apparently these stars aren't good for anything else once I've already gotten full man of capacity capacity <laughs> get up here grab the star uh, okay can I I don't need an, any crafting benches to build these so what's our scenario just as arrows are more powerful than flaming so I'm going to equip those plus fire probably doesn't do much to the wall of flesh I mean, it might, but probably probably not. <laughs> and now for the arduous process of going back down. May just get this for you guys. Well, it's not really arduous, just time-consuming. In any case, it's a thing. But this, I'm going to multitask. Rearrange my inventory and go down the endless rope. Ouch, what did I hit? Black slime. What are you? Skeleton. You've got a sword in your head. I saw you bob back and forth like that. Critical hit for 68. Sweet. Don't stop. Apparently holding down stops you dead in your tracks. I think. Or at least letting go and then holding down. Would have been so much nicer if I could have just built a straight hole down to the nether. Oh well, at least I've got my speedy boots for traversing it in the first place. This time I should pay much more attention to my health. Like I said, I made made sure that I could run through this entire 
<coughs> entire place without losing my sprint. Not like that's terrible. Ooh, wait. Can't I open this? Because I have a shadow key? Ooh. I can. Whoa. Easy on the lag. Ouch. Easy on the fire. Great. Knocked him out of range. Come in range. There we go. Here. Gotcha. Little, little bat. What's in here? Something useful? Glow sticks. I like glow sticks. Recall potion. Can't have too many of those. Thorns potion? Attackers also take damage. Yes, please. Let's see. Don't need heart reach. Hellfire arrow. Need those. I had no idea I had so many hellfire arrows. Flower fire magic damage. Say what? Ouch. Man, I'm almost dead already. <sighs> if I... If that stuff allows me to shoot through walls, I would be ecstatic. Oh, how do you guys get up here? I wasn't paying attention for a second, in case you guys couldn't tell. Hey! Come on! Hate those boomerangs. Ooh, got another summoning duel! Which is the voodoo doll for the traveler, or whatever it is. That's what summons the wall of flesh. I dump it in lava. Okay, I got darkness vision. Anyway, magical damage, uses 17 mana, throws balls of fire. Yes, please. I'll take all of that. Um, eight, I guess. What is this, ash block? I don't need that. Let me summon my imp. Take fire. Oh. Oh, cool, they bounce. Hey, it is fast speed. Oh, I'm out of mana. As you can see, my mana recharges very quickly. I can also see how these balls would be hard to aim. It's going to be a tsunami of fire. <laughs> this is cool. Apparently they dissipate after distance. But still, that's a cool thing to have. I was hoping it would shoot through walls, but can't have everything. I have any wood? I don't have any wood. I really sh Well, I guess not. <coughs> I was thinking I should build a campfire to help with my health regeneration, but uh, I'm not going to be in one spot, so it won't matter. Just keep running, rain. Nobody cares. Just build the bridge. What did I die to last time? It was like a bat or something, right? I held that. Okay. Place more blocks. Oh, I lost my buff, didn't I? Yeah. I don't think I took too long. Woo! Boomerangs be flying. Ouch, ouch, and ouch. Okay, I'm gonna swap around my stuff once I defeat the snake here. Okay, I'm gonna uh, put this here, that there, and imp staff there, because I don't need imp staff often. I only need once per life. Wow, imp. Why can't you fire like that all the time? Two silver coins. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna leave that fireball to you, Imp. Or not, because he's fast. And I'm gonna try to build my way over here without being knocked into lava. That is the operative um, condition. If that's a sentence I just said. Get him, Imp. Ouch. What? Where'd that slime come from? I keep looking off into the distance and not seeing stuff. But if that demon can leave me alone, then I'll be content to not fight him. Once again, I'm being scared by my own familiar's projectiles. How long am I going to build this bridge? 
I need a more useful familiar. That's what I need. Okay. Let's keep going. Apparently enemies are falling from the sky. Raining men and zombies. Keep going. It's dark. Another statement of the obvious. Just till everyone is on the same page. Hello, Mother Slime. I like this sword. It's good. <clears throat> uh, you again. That one looked like it was smaller. Okay, how long? 36 minutes. We'll just keep going. Ah, great. I got a building to take through. On top of my familiar scaring me when it comes around, I keep forgetting that things flying around my head are not my familiars. Build some stairs. Okay, that should do it. Let the brick be the final step itself. Is this a hole in the wall? Nope. It is now. You know what? I'm tired of building all this stuff. I am going to summon the wall. That sound that that's such a dumb line to say, but I will do it as soon as I can defeat a few enemies, and um, once my health regenerates. Thank you. So, to defeat the wall of flesh or summon it, we take this guide voodoo doll and we chuck it into the water. It says I'm a terrible person. You don't know anything about me. All I do is kill rabbits. What's wrong with you? Okay. Off your charging. We've got uh, quite a bit of leg room here, so I think we'll be good. Gotta fin if I finish a sentence with so, I gotta follow it up with something else. Voodoo doll! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh dear. <clears throat> Uh, nope. Uh, five. Take that. Throw these backwards while I run. The hungry. Oh, I'm out of mana. Uh, bow. Oh, cool. Jester's arrows go through enemies? Or do they just have strong knockback? Oh, pfft. Forgot to take my potions. What am, what am I being eaten by? I don't know. Generation push. Go. I always forget stuff. Stupid imps. Now, we have a problem here because um, killing... I have to... To kill him, I have to hit him in the eye or the mouth. Just shooting the wall does not kill it. Kill the eyes. Kill the eyes. Okay. Ouch. You want to die? Why am I shooting shurikens? Shoot him in the eyes. Come on. Shoot him in the mouth? Am I even hitting him? I think I am, but... Ah, darn those lasers. At least my health regeneration seems to be doing quite well. Okay, back to the staff. Ammo with this is technically unlimited. I really hope I have enough room to run. Because this is... Oh, look, your eyes scrunch together. That's weird. Die already! Okay, I am doing damage. Aim for his eyes, because those take more damage. 
Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. Uh. So then. I think. Oh, I should. Pff, forgot to take my thorns bush and I forgot to take everything. But I'm going to try again because I'm just that dumb. But first, I need more potions. So let me get my stiff. I don't need brick. What is this? Quick magma stone inflicts fire damage on attack. Where did I wear this? Does this supply to arrows too? Um, hmm. I guess I'll trade out for the shoe spikes. Don't need those on me. And I'm fighting. Poop. Those arrows are really something. Anyway, to the task at hand. I need a um a moon glow. Hellbat banner, don't need that. So you need moon glow. A shiver thorn. And a day bloom. And what can I trade out for this? What am I holding? Bones. <laughs> Bones are damage. Consumable material. I'll put you in a chest. You don't sound particularly useful. So let's just make our potions of iron skin. Yeah. And regeneration. And gotta put this somewhere. I'll put it there. I guess I'm not gonna be picking anything else up, so I'll just not have to deal with any of this stuff. I don't need my mining potion with me or my blink. I'll keep the blink root on me just for a case. In case. Um. All right, let's go give this another whirl, shall we? <clears throat> I'm not sure if this magma stone does anything since my weapons already do fire damage, but we'll see. So this time I've got to pay special attention to my health. And also equip my potions before I summon the big angry wall of death. Mr. Zero's still got plenty. If this doesn't fail, or if this doesn't work, I think I'm going to end the episode. Because I don't think defeating two bosses and working on hard mode is a good way to go for me. Especially since I don't know how to play hard mode. Probably just the same cycle. But I don't know what to build. It's going to be new weapons and armor. It's going to be awesome. But that will be for another time, even if I do win. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, if I fail this time, I'm ending the episode. Okay, voodoo doll, got you. Now it's just a mad dash to the other side. Let's see, where did I die? Do I need any more platform? <clears throat> Don't think I do, because it wasn't moving that quickly. And I had him, like, at least a third dead. You know, I took a third of his health. He had two thirds remaining, I think. Okay, how far did we go? Yeah, we didn't even get halfway back. Pretty close. By an eye laser. Ouch. So, we'll just be extra cautious and try to do as much damage as physically possible. Apparently, they're, these things are mana crystals, though they're not very helpful to me at the time. Okay. 
Potions first. Including regeneration. Thorns. Iron skin. And I think that's all I have. YOLO, let's do this. Goodbye. Uh, did that work? What happened? Dip, but no, that was. Oh, what? What? How did? What just happened? I've said whatever. Take my offering. Crap. Why doesn't it work? Okay. I guess I'll be back in a second then, after I figure out what went wrong. Be back in a minute. Okay. Apparently, using the voodoo doll kills the guide NPC upstairs, and I need him alive to summon the wall of flesh. But because he was already dead when I summoned the Wall of Flesh, uh, he's now dead. Or... I'm not sure what I just said. Anyway, I need him to respawn, and apparently all I need to do is have an open house and then wait for him. But it's gonna be a while, I guess. The empty house is accounted for, obviously, because... Um, I'm just gonna use Recall Potion. Empty house is accounted for because he died, obviously, so now his house is vacant. <coughs> but I'm gonna go check real quick, see if I can, like, mark it as empty or something. Okay, housing. Ginger. No! That's not yours. Housing's all. <laughs> Ugh. Great. Mechanic took my house. Okay, guess we're back to house building for a few minutes. Oh well, guess you can have a ginger. Where is ginger? She's still at the other end? She is. She's way over there. But hey look, my health regeneration. Oh yeah, of course my stuff is still working. <sighs> so, so disappointed. Pointing. Um, I need more wood. Let's test out this new axe. It also works as a good weapon. Like so. Still got a few saplings lying around here. So I don't need to replant anything, I'll just let those grow instead. Got enough wood. Boy, that guy just exploded all over the place. So, um, house. I need a chair. I've already got materials. I need wall backing. And now it's raining. Lovely. A wooden table. What do I not need? I don't need bombs. I don't need obsidian brick either. Leave all the enemies outside for once. And I need a chair. I'm going to start the obvious again while talking in this monotone. More door. And get rid of the shuriken. Don't need those. And I need some wall backing. That should do it. What do I not need? I do not need. Let's see. I can stack those together. Yes. Okay. Time to build a house. Looks like the frame rate's dropping a bit, but no biggie. Dirt blocks. Because this here guy gets the same luxury as anyone else. Eh, that should be big enough, I guess. I mean, how much can one person need, right? And the mismatched wall backing. 
for style. A light, natural light source. Hey, stop beating my demolitionist. And, uh, okay, and now I need a chair and a table. Eat it, zombie. And now, um, I should probably put a door over here. I also realized I built an extra door. Break the dirt there, door hole complete. Now I just need to make a housing, right? This housing is suitable. Yay! Now apparently all I can do is wait for the guide to come. And I think that could be a while. So, sorry for that anticlimactic ending. But I'm going to end the episode here. I don't even have summoning tools anyway. Alright. I have been Rainarius playing Terraria. In the next episode, I hope to uh, either explore the dungeon some more or defeat the Wall of Flesh properly this time once I get all the tools. In the meantime, I have been Rainarius playing Terraria, and I will see you guys in the next video. So long.